Building a strong, stable spine is one of the best things you can possibly do for your body at any age. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you three exercises to help you do just that. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And I've helped thousands of people over 50 to improve the strength and stability of their spines to keep them active and mobile no matter their age. Our spines are protected by several different muscle groups, including your glutes, your core muscles, which wrap around here, and your spinal muscles themselves. They all work together to give you that safe spinal movement. But if those muscles are weaker than they should be, your spine is exposed to certain forces and that can make injury more likely. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on a way to strengthen all of those muscle groups at the same time whilst moving the spine. So it's going to be super relevant to the types of things you do every single day. Now there's a myth out there that there are certain movements that are dangerous for your spine. Your spine can pretty much do just about anything provided it's been exposed to it before in a safe setting. So what we're going to do today is we're going to work on a couple of movements that some people might see as dangerous, even though they're not, but we're going to do them in a super safe way to expose them to you nice and carefully. So if you have to do them again in your daily life, you're going to be safe to do them. So I'm going to show you the exercises in just a moment, but I just need to make you aware they're not going to be suitable for everyone, particularly if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis, you need to be super careful with these. Do get checked out by your doctor before you give them a try. And if they cause you any pain, then just avoid them. Let's have a look at the exercises now. So for all of these exercises, you're gonna need a small weight. I've got a dumbbell, but it doesn't have to be a dumbbell. You can use anything with a bit of weight to it. A bag filled with books works perfectly well. In terms of how much weight to use, start off really light because you can always add weight as we go. Now the first exercise is called the standing front press. And it looks something like this. You're gonna take your small weight, you're gonna hold it in two hands. If you've got a bag, obviously just hold the straps and keep it nice and tight into your chest to begin with. Take your feet about shoulder width apart. Just squeeze your glutes together as if you're trying to trap a pencil between your bottom cheeks and then maintain that contraction, slight bend in the knee and just push the dumbbell or the bag out in front of you and hold. Now, even though this doesn't look like a movement of the spine, you'll notice a couple of things when you do this. The first thing is your core has to switch on super quickly to keep you in this safe position. And you'll also probably feel when you're at full extension, so out here, then your back muscles are having to work pretty hard as well to kind of counterbalance you. Because what we've effectively done is we've moved your center of gravity forwards and we're trying to resist this kind of thing from happening. So it's trying to stop you from being dragged forward and you're doing that using your back and core. So this is a really nice beginner exercise to get you started, just to get those muscles working. Obviously you'll feel your glutes as well because they're tightening up as a contraction to keep you stable. And I'd recommend doing something in the region of 10 to 20 of those in a row. Have a one to two minutes rest between your sets. Do three total. Doing that every day is a super way to get stronger. But if that was really easy for you and you don't fancy finding something with loads of weight in it to make that harder, you can challenge yourself further by progressing to a squat. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing. You're gonna hold the weight in towards your chest. You're gonna squeeze your glutes, push the weight out. And as it's out, you're gonna squat down, keeping a nice straight spine, come back up and then pull it in. Much harder. So as we push out, then we squat down, we stick our bottom out and bend the knees. I'm trying now to keep my spine really, really straight as I do this. Makes it a lot harder when the knees are bent. I'm gonna show you from this angle here. So I'm gonna push out, squat down, keep that straight spine. I'm not bending, I'm not doing that. Okay, I'm keeping my spine nice and straight and then coming up. And you'll probably notice with my squat there, I wasn't going right down to the floor. I was only going as far as I can before I felt like my spine was going to start bending. It's not dangerous to bend your spine, but you'll, fi you'll find that the muscles of your spine will work less hard as they start to bend and other muscles will take over. So we want to keep that straight spine. And it's also a really good way to improve your squat. Same principles apply, 10 to 20 repetitions of those in a row, three sets of that. 
is a great way to strengthen your spine. Let's have a look at another way to strengthen it, and this time include some rotation. Before we go any further, I just wanna tell you about a very special bonus I've created for viewers of this channel. It's called the Complete Guides to Building Muscle and Strength over the age of 50. And if you're someone who is a little bit confused about how to go about starting the process of building muscle and strength, you don't know what equipment to use or what exercises to choose, this is perfect for you. It's an exclusive 25 minute video that you can't find anywhere else where I teach you all the ins and outs of building muscle and strength specific for people over the age of 50. So it's one of the best things I've created. I'm giving it totally for free to viewers of this channel. All you need to do is scroll down below this video. There's a link in the description where you can sign up. I'll send you the video straight away and you can get started. It's some of my best info. And if you use it, I hope you enjoy. The next thing we're gonna do to build some strength in your spine is something called the floor lift. And we're gonna use our small weight again. Again, a bag of books works perfectly well for this. And you're gonna position yourself so that you're facing the weight on the floor like this with your feet probably between hip and shoulder width apart. Now, we're just gonna use good classic technique to reach down and pick the thing up. Similar to like a deadlift if you were in the gym, but we're using a smaller weight and it's gonna be closer to the ground, which is more challenging for our backs. So you're gonna stick your bottom out, bend your knees, try to keep your back nice and straight, hold the weight and bring it up like this. Super, super simple. And this is just to sort of get you warmed up. So you're gonna go down, pick up, and then down, pop it down. Down, pick up, down, pop it down. And you're gonna feel your glutes working. You're gonna feel your lower back working. You're gonna feel other muscles in your body, including your quads working as well. Lovely all rounder. But if we really wanna protect the spine, we need to add in that rotational component as well. Now, this is a movement that many people might look at and think, oh, we need to be careful with this. But if you do it correctly with a nice light weight to begin with or no weight at all, just a practice, you can slowly build up strength in this dangerous position, which isn't dangerous at all. It's just that many people aren't exposed to this over time. So this is how it looks. It's called the lift and twist, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep a nice straight spine as we do this. We're gonna bend down, pick up the weight, come up, then we're gonna go down and put it down on the outside of the leg. Then up again, and then down on the other side. And up again, down and up again, and down and up again. Now, if you look at the control I've got here, I'm not letting the weight drag me down. I'm keeping the best position of my spine throughout. And I'm making sure to really carefully pay attention to what I'm doing with all areas of my body as I do this. And that means that doing this movement for me, there's almost zero risk involved. I'm not gonna pull anything. I'm not gonna herniate a disc because it's so controlled. And I'm just slowly building up my confidence in these classically risky positions that really aren't that risky at all. So I'd recommend probably doing less of those Five to 10 works really, really well. Have a rest. You wanna make sure that you're nice and rested between sets with this, because you want your technique to be perfect. And if that feels okay to do and practice, you can very slowly increase the weight over time. But I must stress, start off with no weight or minimal weight. You can just do it like this, touching the floor. No weight at all works absolutely fine. But if you wanna get stronger, adding a weight in does make sense as long as it's safe for you to do so. Once you've tried that, it's a brilliant start to getting you stronger. I've got one more movement for you. This time we're gonna to go to your bed and lie down and I'll show you it now. So the last exercise we're gonna to do to strengthen your spine is the weighted bridge. And you're gonna use your little weight one more time for this exercise. It can be the same thing you used for the previous ones, but you wanna find a nice stable surface to lie on. Could be your bed, could be a mat on the floor. You can use a pillow or you can do it with no pillow. It's totally up to you. So the exercise is really easy. You're gonna use a small towel, pop it over your pelvis just for comfort like this, then take your little weight and you're gonna rest the weight 
on the front of your pelvis like this. Bring your, bring your feet as close to your bottom as you possibly can to start the movement. Now this is a great movement to strengthen your glutes and your core, and it also helps to strengthen the muscles at the front of the legs too. So the first thing we're gonna do is just flatten your back down into the bed just to switch the core on and give you a nice stable spine. You're gonna push mostly through your heels. You can lift your toes if you wish. So push down through the heels, lift up just to neutral, pushing that weight directly up into the air and then squeeze your bottom at the top. So contract those glutes, hold for a second and then slowly lower back down. Just as simple as that. So flatten the spine, push through the heels, lift up just to neutral, not as high as you can, but just until your knees and your pelvis and your shoulders are all in line. Hold for a couple of seconds, squeeze the glutes at the top and then lower back down. It's as simple as that. Now I'd recommend doing probably 10 or 15 of these in a row. You can do a few sets over with a one to two minutes rest in between. And that is a fabulous final exercise for strengthening all the muscles that support your spine. So those are three of my favorite exercises to help you build a strong and stable spine. Maybe they're a little bit different to some of the ones you've seen in the past, but if you use them, I hope you love them. Now, if you found this video useful, I'd love to hear from you. Do drop a comment below because we read all of them and it does help us to improve this channel. So I do say thank you to you if you take the time to do that. And if you want more advice on how to improve your spine and stave off back pain and build strength in all the right areas, one of the best ways to do that is to pick up a copy of my brand new book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50, the 2024 edition, and it's got loads of info inside to help people with all manner of different back problems. Now you can find that book on Amazon by using the link below or search for it at any good bookseller. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. Make sure you've liked the video and subscribed to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you again on the next one.